Hello, it's Guy here from GD Models. Today I'll be doing part 10 of the De Havilland Mosquito by Tamiya 1 to 30, in 1 to 32 scale. Um, as you can see from my last video, all I've done is um, obviously you saw me obviously do this central section here. Um, all I've done is literally put the outside of the wings on. Um, obviously, the top half and the bottom half with a little lens in here with uh, one of Tamiya's uh, masking shapes on there otherwise that is literally all I've done it looks like I've done a lot oh and obviously screwed the wings on there's like eight like screws inside here which I um, dropped a bit of glue on as well so it's like just a little bit of extra support Right, okay, today we're doing the next phase, which is these two flaps here, the end of the wings here, um, the glass lenses here for the um, right and left uh, lights on the end of the wings, these um, beams here which go on the inside here, and these smaller ones on the inside here. Um, these are also the fuel tanks, which are done, and a couple of little bits here uh, for the fuel tank assembly as well. Also, I'd like to mention, I'm ever so sorry I haven't done the video for a few days, but I've been busy in the garden as trying to make the best of this hot weather and try to get some of the garden done. So that's why I haven't uploaded for about four days now, because I've been doing that. So. That's why I haven't done any model. Um, anyway, now the next stage, as I was saying, is the fuel tank. So I'll get the instructions out. Um, also, I will be uploading a video of the um, Kawasaki in the next couple of days as well. I just got to finish off the wiring on that and then I'll, I'll grab the next parts, paint them, and then I'll do a video after that. So it might be about a couple of days, two days or so. Right, anyway, so what we want to do for the first step is go on the this side of the wing here. Um, this wing, and we want to get this one here. And use the old Tamiya. Let's see how it fits first. Can't really show you, try and move it to show you because as you can see this is quite a big this is the whole wing so it's actually quite a large size but obviously if I can fit this in which it's not going in and I don't know why I'll just have a look okay so We've got a round bit there, there we go, like that. And now, what we'll try to do from this side, I'm going to run a bit of glue along the inner seam. Down in here. And also down there. Um, and now I'm going to go to this side and grab this bit here and this should do sort of the same. Like that. So one a bit of glue along there. And along the top there. And also that should then go in. There like that. Double make sure. Yeah, that's there. Like that. So you've got the inner section there. And now we want to 
uh, sorry this video is a bit awkward because as I said it's the whole wing assembly I'm doing here uh, get the other side she wants to wiggle her way in here and as I said there's a little locator about halfway down and then go on the other side the reverse side and put some bit of glue in there and now we want to do this side down here can't believe how high it is today it's just been a joke yesterday was incredible um, hopefully don't get me wrong I'm a typical British person um, when there's hot weather I want it to be cool and when I, there's cool weather I want it to be hot so that's sus Brits for you right um, now with that being done what we want to do is join the flaps on I'm going to do this side first so we want to um, make sure I'm using the right flap uh, there because this little bit here this little pin so I didn't realize I was showing you off the camera um, needs to go down in here whilst these pins need to go in here like that and all I'm going to do is hold it in there for now but it's vital and it even says this on the instructions it is vital you do this bit before the end of the wing don't ask me why I don't have a clue it just says it on the instructions so a bit of the extra thick here because here we go and along there there and along the end there now she should just slide into place like that that's one side and now onto the other side and the same again as you can see from the other side so I'm just running it along there along there and along the tip there there we go so like that a little bit of excess there like that and now I've got to make sure I'm doing this the right way around I want to be doing this wing here I'll do this wing first and I've primed these here as well so this wants to go this way round so a bit of glue along here along there and this should just slide in the end there like that. and that's obviously the wing tip and now on to the other side along there as I said I use the uh, thick glue for when I'm connecting large bits and then when I'm collecting 
connecting, sorry, not collecting, connecting thin bits, then I use um, just the extra thin. Right, so that's that. And also, just to let you guys know, you've I hate when thing, you see here you've got a tiny little light. One this side's green and the other side's red. Um, and now what I want to do is use a tiny bit of super glue. You might have seen me do this in one of my previous videos. Now I'm going to connect the lenses, which I always connect with super glue. Some people say you can't do it, do it, but in fact, you can. It's just you have to be very careful, or otherwise, you do get fog in. Um, but as I said, I personally have found if you're very careful with it, you don't get fog in. Um, just try to put this somewhere, there we go. So what we want to do is run a tiny bit. I am talking a tiny bit, literally. Along there and along the tip there. Maybe tiniest bit in the corner as well. One there. Um, one there, like that. And now what we want to do is get one of the lenses and she should hopefully this is the right one um, no there you go so she literally just sits on there like that. And now we go around to the other side. I don't know why I primed these up. Um, I literally primed them up and I'm like, once I had done them, I was like, oops. <laughs> I shouldn't have primed them up yet. So I prime them all together. But I am obviously aware that I have primer them. I normally, with aircraft, prime them all in one go. And you've also got it going like that. Like that. So perfect, like that. And now, take the super glue away because that's only literally for the lenses. And we want to go into the central section here, this white section, which obviously I've told you before I've weathered. Um, and what we want to do is I'll, I'll put this bit on first. Wait, oh, sorry, I forgot that bit. A little bit of super glue as well here. Yeah. which is on this bit here, you've got a little hole and it's just where a little lens, a little, little light goes in. Like that. I don't know what it's for, but anyway. Um, it goes this way around. No, it, yes it does, it goes this way around. And I want to run it along the bottom here, like that, and it should. Sit in there, there we go. Seems a bit rough, but you sometimes have to be a little bit rough. There we go, like that. And then you've got this dirty edge here, which goes in there, here, like that. 
so I'm just going to get the X, sorry not the X, um, the super glue and it get up. goes the other way around so I've actually glued the wrong side. Um, no biggie, well it is a biggie, but I can I weather in that to sort of hide that I've done that. I have to put a little bit more weathering on that side and then that goes sits in there like that make sure you push it down so it's all located and then you want to get these fuel tanks which go this way around and I'll get the extra fin here and there should be yeah there you've got like a little bit here and down here and down here now what you want to do is carefully slot them in um, like that I thought it glues on there but it actually doesn't um, and I'll put a little bit of glue there and there and that's it for today um, that's the next stage done so um, if you like this video please subscribe and to all my new subscribers thank you for subscribing and I hope you like my videos and as I've said to people before if you can if you want to comment and leave a comment on what I could do better or what you want to see in the future because I have a few other kits and I'm sort of coming quite close to the end of my motorbike so normally I give a selection of kits and then I let you guys choose which kit you want to see me build next. So um, I've got a feeling um, I'm either going to build because I've actually sadly I can't believe I've done this, but I've run out of motorbike kits. So it's either going to be like another aircraft, sadly, or um, I've got a couple of Formula One cars got two Formula 1 cars, uh, 1 to 20 scales. So if you want to, I've got also, which you guys might want to see me build, the RB6 Red Bull uh, by Tamiya. Um, I've got that in my stash. So um, I've also got the Titanic as well. Um, the Mini Kits Titanic uh, Collector's Edition with photo etch parts. Um, I've also got the Trumpeter Bismarck, sorry, Trumpeter Belfast as well. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, so what I do is I will make a video of all my stash and show my stash, so you can sort of you guys can choose what I build next. Um, but as always, thank you for watching, and uh, hope you like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you already have, thank you. And uh, happy modelling and speak to you later. Bye.